Welcome, one and all, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, internet users of all ages, to the finale of Donkey Kong Country Free Game Boy Advance! Praise be to God on this awesome day! So we have got collected all the bonus tokens, all of the Tihiro coins, so we're going to Funky Kong. He want, has the use for us. Unbelievable type of a situation! You found all of the DK coins! I'm sorry, Kitty, I didn't think you'd actually find them all, so I got nothing new to show you. Hey, Kitty, just kidding, you know? May I introduce to you my finest and coolest creation yet, the Funky Copter. Oh yeah, we have a new vehicle, the Funky Copter, but first, challenge four. Back again? Radical! This time you need to use the Turbo Ski to finish your, to beat your opponents to the finish line. Two, do three laps of the track to complete the challenge. Okay, this is a simple one. It's still weird though, because like the boat has a different controls in the challenges versus on the overworld. Okay, this is annoying because they they don't lose fuel, but you do. Okay, that's gonna be a pain. At least the explanation is short, so you can get through it. Move it. Okay, it's not helping that the Kremlins are kind of going out of their way to make sure I get hit. I also don't know the course at all, so... That was my own fault. I wonder if there's like a boost of some kind you can get in the beginning. Alright, I'm in first. As long as there's no rubber band AI, I should be good then. And you know, if I don't hit a bunch of stuff. Give me a break, I'm still getting used to the course. Cool, lap two. No enemies in sight. Oh man, oh man, oh this is, uh, it's hard to control! <laughs> Alright, oh no. Okay, I've got a good enough lead, I just need to focus on not hitting walls. No! I barely touched it! Okay, if you can get in the lead at the beginning, though, it's not too bad. And again, all of Funky's challenges, I have never even tried these before, so these are completely blind. Alright, stick to the inside of the course. Oh no you don't, oh no you don't, get back! Kitty Kong's winning this race. I'm glad that they make you faster than the AI, that's nice. That makes it much more doable, so it's mostly just kind of about don't hit the walls. Which is still very hard because the controls on this are not great, not terrible, but just like far from optimal. It's just annoying because on the overworld, the boat controls, it's like, you have to move in the direction you want to go. And if you're using the, uh, the turbo car, like this one, you have to hold B to do the rocket boost. Whereas in this, you just hold B and you accelerate, and then you only touch the controls if you want to turn. You'd 
think they'd at least make the controls consistent. Consistency is always good. Alright. Lap three, I'm in first, but I only have a tiny little bit of fuel. I also can't tell if I'm burning fuel, not even touching anything. Oh, yep, I am. I sure am. Oh, boy. I think I'm dead, then. Especially if that happens. Alright, so you really, really need to avoid uh, the walls at all costs. So at the beginning, you're going to get knocked around by the Kremlins quite a bit, and there's literally nothing you can do about it. So I found just take the turn on the inside for the first lap. Use that to get ahead. Because then once you're ahead, they can't bump into you anymore to make you lose fuel or make you go further behind. So at that point, you're kind of good. Oh boy. I have an itch. Oh no! <laughs> I had an itch on the like in my face, so I had to take my hand off my other control stick. Yeah, it doesn't matter how fast you're going, if you touch a wall, you're losing like two bars of your fuel. Okay, at this point I'm just not I'm not even gonna try, cause even if I don't hit anything, I'll burn through all of that fuel before the race is over. Only got a tiny little bit of fuel left. Uh, even less now. Oh no, don't touch that wall, you idiot! I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I don't think I can get through the rest of the course. Like, I know, I'm sure this is looking to people like, Come on, this is easy. Why are you so bad? You haven't... You probably haven't tried controlling this boat before. It is almost impossible to control. <laughs> Even touching the control stick ever so slightly will cause you to move massively. Hence the zigzagging. Alright, new plan. I'm holding B the entire time for the start. Finally figured out exactly where that turn is. afraid to release the accelerator going around corners. In fact, pretty much always release the accelerator when going around corners. That way you can get it much... It's much easier to go straight from when you have been stopped for a while. And to avoid the walls. Okay, yeah! This round's going much better. Look at all this... Oh, of course, I had to speak too soon. Well... Oh, I had so much fuel, and then just literally I touched two pieces of land. Three pieces of land, and it's almost all gone. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm so nervous. No, 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 it's sucking me in! Uh-uh. No. Stop trying to suck me into the land. Okay, is this gonna be the one? Yes! <laughs> That's harder than any level in the game. Yo, dudes, you fool around that track! Here, take these! Give me the bird or die, Funky Call. Well done, dudes! You've passed all my challenges! 
Here, take this strange looking bird, I'm sure it will come in useful. Take it real easy, kitty. Oh my gosh. Let's go to Wrinkly, we haven't been here in a while. Memblish, Mabble, Scrabble, sorry kitty, I've just had my new teeth fitted. Aren't you going to give me your favorite relative a goodbye kiss? Nope. Uh, nope, definitely not. It's time to rent the last vehicle Funky has for us. Cool and the gate, kitty! How's it going today? We're hiring a vehicle. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. This one. So who needs to swim in the water? We can fly now. So one thing I forgot to do, if you go to Bramble's bungalow after clearing Mechanos, or Mechanos, <laughs> I'm glad those horrible machines are destroyed. Perhaps my beautiful flowers can start to grow again now. Here, have this Bananas Goldus Flutterus. Er, um, Banana Bird. I'm finished studying its abilities. Some of them are quite magical, I'll have you know. Thank you. Alright, so now that we can fly, there are quite a few new areas we can go to. First up, let's go through here. Hilltop Horde. Blue. Green. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. 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 Green. Okay. Woot! I can't believe I did that first try. That was a ton to remember. Alright. That's just one of the spots. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. The next one's over here. We couldn't reach this before, but now we can. Belcha's Burrow. Green. Red. Red. Yellow. Red. Red. Green. Red. Green. Red. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Alright, these are so... This is going to be very hard to remember at all. Blue, blue, red, yellow, yellow, red, red, blue, green, blue, yellow, red, that was failed. Alright, at this point, I don't think I can remember all of that. So I'm actually going to take a video of this on my phone, believe it or not. And then... Go from there. Now replaying this back. Green, green, blue, yellow, red, red, green, 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 yellow, blue, green. There we go. I'm sorry, but that was way too much to remember in a row. And the fact that it changes every time makes it even worse. Alright. Over here, K's cash. G. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's what, like fifteen in a row? Time for another video. Completely ridiculous for you to, for them to expect this.
That is insane. But that gives us all 20 banana birds in the entire game. So now we need to find the banana queen. She's up here. Please, you've found all my children. Go to Wrinkly's cave. She'll tell you what to do. Please hurry. Don't slip up. Once I get out of here, I'm going to give that banana brain K. Rule a major headache. Yep, that's the queen of the banana birds, and she lost all her children. We found them all, so let's go to Wrinkly. In our helicopter ride. What was that? You'd like to change your name? Oh, I'm sorry, I misheard. You want to save your game. What's that? You want to see the Lost World? Can't help you. Sorry. Wrinkly apparently did not know what to do. So you know what? I'm going to the final boss of the Lost World. So we got the last cog. Hey, you forgot another one of those cogs! Put it on the machine and see if anything happens. Well, they're all on. Doesn't seem to have done much, though. What on earth is that racket? Hey, take a look outside, kitty! You won't believe it! Either everything turned to sunset, or that turned to lava. You decide. And it's a giant submarine. Whew, it's roasting in here! I must pop down to Bazaar's and get a fan! He's not cheap, is he? Alright, maybe it is lava, except we're now taking a plunge in the lava. Time for the final bonus boss of the game, Nautilus! It's K. Rulenstein! What the blazes? So you're the ones responsible for scuttling my super-secret submarine! This is the last time you'll spoil my plans! I'm going to bash you for good! Wow, big man! Right, look out, you cheeky monkeys! So yeah, K. Rowenstein really means business this time. He's shooting fireballs at us, and... Well, there's the electric fence is going. Alright, so now what we want to do is throw the steel keg so it gets sucked up there and drops on his head. <laughs> so he seems quite a bit easier this time, doesn't he? Well, there are some gimmicks, trust me. It's not all fun in games. God, Kitty Comb can have a hard time throwing it up in there. And yeah, the steel keg can get knocked away from the electric fences. <laughs> oh, that's right. This part's annoying. Because now the conveyor belt's moving. Now the low, now the lower half of the electric fence is gonna shoot stuff at us. You want to be on the opposite end of the steel keg from where it's at, and that'll help block block the electric bolts. Whoop! Nice dodging, K. Rule. And now this combines everything into one, except for the fireballs, I guess. But the conveyor belt's moving now. Oh, don't be afraid to set the seal cake down if you want uh, some protection. And there we go, that's the final boss. My word, they seem very excited. It looks as if they want you to take, for you, to take you for a ride. Go on, Kongs, don't worry about your boat. I'll get Cranky to fetch it for you. It's not a boat, it's a helicopter. Oh yeah, banana birds are taking us to the queen. You did it! You did it! You found all my children! At last I can be free of K. Rule's spell. 
Ready, children? Sing along with me! Oh yeah. Oh, I'm so happy that we're a family again, and it's all thanks to you, Calms. Now, as I promised, it's time to carry out my part of the bargain and teach K. Roll a lesson he'll never forget. Hey, K. Roll, that's my hovercraft! Get back here! I've never seen this before. Is that it? She didn't, like, throw him into a volcano or something? Okay. I'm a Mondo monkey now. I got 103%, but Cranky did it in four hours, and it took me almost seven. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. I did die a lot. But yeah, that is Donkey Kong Country 3, and I finally saw the true ending, which was kind of... Uh... Kind of not worth it. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I know I had a lot of fun playing this, and it's not over yet. Uh, there's going to be a bonus episode where I show off all the other secrets in the game, such as the cheat codes, as well as many of the uh, warp barrel locations. And by that, I mean all of them. So, hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.